create a new Microsoft whiteboard. You can either select whiteboard using the search feature on your computer to open the whiteboard app or on an iPad, find the whiteboard app and open. Alternatively, within Glow, select the Office 365 home tile and once open, select whiteboard from the list of apps down the left hand side of the screen. You can also open Microsoft whiteboard from this app launcher or set of three by three dots in the top left corner, selecting whiteboard. If you do not see whiteboard, select all apps and choose whiteboard from the list. When you're ready to share your whiteboard and collaborate with others or simply let them review any content on it, select the invite someone button indicated with a blue circle in the top right of your screen. You will be given a list of suggestions. Simply type in the name of the person and the AI will generate the suggestion if not already added. The bottom half of the window will show you if that person is given editing rights, meaning they can contribute live to your document, or if they can only read using the read only feature. This may be useful if you have a completed activity that you wish to share as evidence or a document showing stage partner planning, which you want to share with senior leadership team. At any time, click to change the settings. Once the, the person you wish to nominate is selected, you can either choose to add another or select invite. Once that button has been selected, the page will refresh and show you invited nominees at the top and give you an option to add further participants at any time at the bottom. If additional people are involved in your whiteboard, you will see a view list icon appear next to that original blue circle. This gives you the pop-up window we just saw. You're now able to pop information on. When colleagues who you've invited to join you on your whiteboard open up the whiteboard feature using the app launcher section, they will also see the new whiteboard which you've shared. Using the pen or text tools, they can add to the board. This can then be seen live by anyone also viewing the whiteboard. Users of the online app version will only see the option to share a link. The other way in which you can share your whiteboard is by selecting the blue circle and choosing the three dots at the top corner next to the X. This gives you more options, including sharing a link, which can be turned on or off, and copying the link into a chat, email or other. You may also wish to post your whiteboard to Teams so that an established group may contribute. Finally, you can send your whiteboard into your OneNote. Selecting this option lets you see a list of your notebooks which can be populated by selecting and clicking. Any of these options, in addition to writing or typing in the name of a user, allows easy collaboration from within whiteboard. At any time, please remember you can clear your canvas and cease sharing. This can be done by the three dots at the participant name. You may also want to double check that you no longer share the sharing link. Simply toggling the bar will turn that off. This means your whiteboard has reverted to only your use.